The full color, incredible images are now being released by JWST. Let's take a long, loving look at the first deep field image from Webb. And it really is as good as we all hoped. And it's now the deepest image ever of the universe. From here, this looks like a patch of sky that's pretty full of galaxies. But the crazy thing is how small this patch really is. If you held out a grain of sand on the end of your finger at arm's length against the night sky, that's how big this patch would look to us from Earth. Webb just has an incredible zoom. Some of these galaxies are upwards of 13 billion years old, maybe even older, which considering the universe is 13.8 billion years old, that's very early in its history to be looking back to. Although Webb will soon look back even further too. Of course, let me just note here that this isn't the furthest we've ever looked back, because we've previously imaged the cosmic microwave background, which was emitted when the universe was just 380,000 years old. And this is the furthest we can ever look back, but that's a very different image, so let's forget that for now. The incredible thing is it only took Webb 12 and a half hours of observing time using its NERCAM instrument to make this image, while it took the Hubble Space Telescope two entire weeks to take this image of the same patch of sky a few years ago. And I hope you can see how much brighter, detailed, and how many more galactic dots Webb can see. I also made a video just to compare these two images and it doesn't even have my voice over the top. So check that out if you want and spend a couple of minutes staring at these incredible images. Once they've had more operating time with Webb to take even longer exposures, the entire sky will surely be filled with galaxies. Remember, it's only been operating for a couple of weeks at this point. That's the thing, almost every single object here is a galaxy, not a star, but a galaxy made of billions of stars, and some of them are incredibly old, from the very early stages of the universe. You see, there is a foreground cluster of galaxies here closer to us, and they're gravitationally lensing the background distant galaxies, making them brighter and easier to see. This foreground cluster is really acting like an enormous magnifying glass, enlarging the distant universe for us to see. The other thing the lensing does is distort these galaxies, warping them into strange and interesting shapes. I'd like to spend a bit of time just pointing out some of my favorite objects here. But of course, I won't spot all of the interesting objects, so please let me know your favorites in the comments down below. I also love the thought that if some distant civilization does exist and is looking in our direction, our own Milky Way galaxy could also just be a funny smudge to them if we're being lensed from their point of view. Let's start with an obvious one this incredible lensed blobby galaxy. I just love how crazy it looks. It's also right next to what I think is a super lensed star, all knotted up with repeated images thanks to all of that lensing. Just below all that, there's also a galaxy that's lensed so much we can see it twice, which is always cool to see. The lensing is actually so intense that you can even see individual stars in the galaxy too. Down here, there might even be a third and fourth copy of the galaxy too. I can't quite tell, but I'm pretty sure that is it. To the right, we can see an incredible spiral galaxy, almost the definition of a grand design spiral, I'd say. Also, all around there are loads of fiery red galaxies whose color I love, but I can't help but shout out this bizarrely bright and red object here. I don't really know what's going on there, but I love it. In the background of all these two, notice all of the tiny dots. Those are galaxies too, just ultra faint, ultra distant ones, and you certainly can't see them in the Hubble images. Next up, we also have this charming little galaxy near the bottom. Great colors, great spiral, you can't go wrong. It's also right near this cool looking galaxy with a bit of a ring structure going on too. Finally, let me shout out this cool gang up here with some excellent spiral arms going on, and right below a big old edge on beast as well. Of course, there's also the foreground stars with the huge six diffraction spikes that will be the signature of all web images. I know some people don't like how they look and they worry they'll cover up something important, but I think they look really cool and it's great to have an easy way of identifying web photos. The thing to notice here is that even some of the brightest galaxies actually have diffraction spikes, which just shows you how much light JWST is collecting. It's almost gonna be a problem how good this telescope is. While we were waiting for this image in particular to drop, we did almost get a leak when NASA put up this photo of the NASA leadership having their first look at the image. But I think you'll agree that this angle doesn't quite do it justice. I hope you're enjoying the web images too. They're really impressing me and they keep blowing my mind. I mean, just think of how much dark matter must be in the center of this image to do so much lensing and we can't see any of it. To me, that's super exciting. 
I have deep dives into each of the new web images, plus some extra stuff too. So please subscribe so you don't miss any of that. Plus, it helps me out a ton. If you have any questions about any of the images, please let me know down in the comments and do let me know your favorite object in this picture too. I'll leave a link to the super high res version of it in the description. And I really recommend taking a look around it if you have the chance. And I hope to see you soon in another video. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye.